Well, good evening. My name is Lane Moyer, and I'm the chair of the Elder Board. Thank you for the opportunity to update you tonight on the Elder's 45-day plan to review the allegations against Bill Hybels and to review various policies and procedures here at the church. This will be in my last midweek update on our 45-day plan. I suspect many of you are relieved and thinking more Steve and less elders is a good thing on a Wednesday night. I, I agree with that. That being said, the reality is this is, an, this is important work that the elders have been doing and we're committing to keep you informed at each step of a very important process. I have three main topics to update you on tonight. First, I want to go over our actions as a board as it relates to conversations with the women who have made allegations against Bill. Second, I want to talk to you about some improvements in the policies here at the church. Finally, I want to give you an update on our conversations with Bill. In our initial plan, we committed to examining allegations against Bill that had not been previously investigated by the Elder Board. We said that we would respectively reach out to each woman who has made an accusation, even if she did not bring her concerns directly to the Board previously. Our goal was to take tangible steps toward understanding through a collaborative process with the women. Here are the steps that were taken and where we are today in addressing the allegations. We reached out to each woman who had brought an allegation against Bill. A number of the women have chosen not to speak to us, but a few have. Based on these conversations, we determined that the further steps would require an agreed upon process, which is why we enlisted an independent third party to facilitate a discussion to agree on our next steps together. As I stated in my update two weeks ago, the goal of that third party was to help get mutual agreement on any further investigation or mediation. The goal was not immediate reconciliation, as some have suggested. We engaged Crossroads Resource Group, CRG, to act as a facilitator for these conversations. Some of the women objected to our use of CRG, given one of its facilitators had done work for the church 12 years ago. Unfortunately, for confidentiality reasons, important details of this facilitator's previous experience with Willow Creek was not shared with the elders, and it was not until a blog entry was published that we learned about the nature of the individual's involvement. When we learned about the full extent of the previous work, we removed the individual from the two original people that we had suggested and offered three other possibilities to serve as an independent third party. As of yet, none of the women has taken us up on this offer. This is certainly their right. However, engagement and investigation is difficult without the participation of the parties involved. We remain committed to taking next, next steps with any of the women who are interested and willing. We believed initial apologies were important to make based on what we learned from some of the women. As we stated previously, we are deeply regretful and sorry that our initial tone was one of defensiveness and that it cast the women in an unfair and negative light. We're also very sorry that it was stated that these were all lies. Any sweeping statement in a situation like this is inaccurate. Just as we should not have said that these stories are all lies, we cannot say that the statements by all the women are true. There are discrepancies in some of these stories that will likely never be fully resolved. The charges raised against Bill go back to 20 years in some cases. As much as we like to have full concrete information, we know that this is not always possible. What we are certain of is that there is some truth in the stories we've heard. There is truth that Bill made inappropriate choices in how he conducted certain meetings. There is truth that the women who shared their stories felt very uncomfortable and felt that Bill had wronged them. There is truth that Bill was accountable to the Board of Elders and we should have done a better job of holding him accountable 
and imposing limitations to protect against some of the behaviors complained of. For all of this, we apologize. The second matter I want to cover tonight is the examination of church policies and practices. Here are the steps that we've taken and where we are today in reviewing our policies. One, we are working on a new policy that will provide guardrails for our lead pastor and lead teaching pastor, leading to accountability for their interactions with members of the opposite sex that are godly, respectful, and consistent with biblical principles. This policy will also establish clear expectations around maintaining a healthy spiritual and relational balance. The elders will receive regular reporting on how these values are being upheld. We also have an outside third party reporting system where a concern about the lead pastor or lead teaching pastor can be raised and will be directly reported to the elders. Two, it is our understanding that one of the women approached an individual elder many years ago to raise a concern about Bell. The elder, who's no longer on the board, and the woman determined not to elevate the issues further. In hindsight, the information should have been brought to the board at the time so it could have been dealt with. New protocol moving forward is that any concern about a senior leader raised to an individual elder will immediately be brought to either the board chair, myself, or our board secretary, Missy Rasmussen. At the same time, we will keep appropriate privacy, confidentiality, and safety of the person raising the concern. Three, our lead pastor, Heather Larson, and the executive team have had very positive and insightful discussions with staff about men and women working together. They're having robust conversations about values and limitations. Our staff loves many of the aspects of our church culture and that men and women can serve together and fully utilize their gifts. We have engaged outside legal and HR experts that have affirmed our current policies and the multiple ways that staff members can report a grievance, including a confidential hotline managed by an outside organization. We are committed to creating the best possible and God-honoring environment where each person can thrive and maximize their potential. Finally, as we mentioned in our previous update, we have reviewed the church email retention policy and have made some improvements. Emails will now be saved longer and all staff will operate under the same policy. The third matter I want to cover tonight is an update on Bill. In our initial plan, we stated that we would walk alongside Bill and story in his season of reflection. It is important to remember that the elder board no longer has spiritual or vocational authority over Bill as a Willow Creek staff member. However, we've stayed in contact with Bill and Lynn since he stepped away almost two months ago. Bill wrote to us recently to update us on how he's doing. He said his family deeply appreciates the prayers that have been said on their behalf and the notes of encouragement that have been sent their way. He also reiterated that he wants to learn everything God wants to teach him during this season of reflection and that he will not rush this important time. This wraps up the end of our initial 40 day process, but not the end of our work on these matters. We will continue to engage with people personally and do everything we can to learn, improve, and grow from these, these experiences. As I said two weeks ago, we will work diligently to strengthen the policies and procedures of our church and resolve the situation with the women as best we can. Please continue to pray for our church and God's work that is done in his house. If you'd like to speak with an elder individually, a number of us will be in Guest Central from 7.30 to 8.30 tonight to answer your questions. Our God is bigger than these issues. Thank you very much.